If you're happy to be in the house of the Lord, give Him praise this morning. Let's sing to Him. thanks to the Lord for his goodness and that's what we're going to do here this morning just give him thanks has he been good to you I wouldn't be here this morning had it not been for the Lord we worship you Jesus we love you Lord we
Everybody sing it. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. For your arms for us. Your mercy keeps us. Love you, Lord. this morning. Church, let's praise him. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Continue to worship as you're seated. Ushers, please serve us. And I have the great opportunity, the great pleasure of introducing Danny Murray and the Voices of Lee. Give them a big welcome this morning. Your ways, 
Darkstat, great are your words. Darkstat, great are your love. 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 Darkstat, great are
will call me someday to my home far away where his glory forever I'll share I will share so I'll cherish I'll cherish Well, let's praise him for the cross, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. I love this one. My goodness. Oh. oh, praise the Lord. Thank you so much. I'm telling you, let's praise the Lord. Come on. The biggest ovation of the day to the King of Kings who gave himself for us. Wow, my goodness, we'll hurt ourselves singing the way y'all do us. I'm telling you, this is so good. Thank you. I told y'all, this is the, these people are wonderful. You just never seen nothing like this before. I bring a new bunch with me every time I come, don't I, huh? I can get rid of them. Yeah, I do. You're right. I get rid of these in a couple of weeks. I'll tell you I will. I love your church. I'm telling you what, and we love Pastor Livingston and and. Uh, and uh, Sandra, oh my goodness, I, I, I was looking so far to hear pastor today. I want him to mean preach to y'all a little bit. I love him when he mean preaches. <laughs> Nobody mean preaches like Loran, buddy, I'm telling you. And y'all just love it to death when he does that, don't you, huh? I know you do. I do too. My whole family, my whole family, we watch him on the web, you know, and I'm telling you, it is amazing the influence that your church is having around the world. It is. Keep on doing what you're doing. Allow the Spirit of God to be in control, to touch you. Boy, the worship is so free and so wonderful. When you offer your hearts to the Lord and just praise Him, it just means everything, doesn't it? It's wonderful. I wish I could let them all come out and, and tell their stories, uh, but I can't do that today. But I will I'll, I'll introduce a couple of them. Somebody said to me at first service, now we heard some drums in there. Y'all using a soundtrack? <laughs> My Lord, I can't even spell soundtrack. No. His drum's coming out of this boy right here. He's from Ottawa, Tennessee. So, uh, just so they know we're not cheating, do some of the drums so they'll know. Now, now personally, I think it's silly, but the kids love it, so we do it. Here's the crazy thing. That boy's getting a scholarship to go to college to do that. <laughs> Tell you what, baseball team didn't get all the money. So if you're here and you're interested in Lee, just meet me out there in the lobby afterwards. If you've got a talent or something, I mean, you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll find a scholarship for you. <laughs> Kalen is from Alabama. He's getting ready to graduate. Tell him how good the Lord's been to you, Kalen. Absolutely. What a wonderful privilege to be able to feel the Spirit of God in this place this morning, which we have felt from the beginning. And I tell you, I never knew that God would do so many things in my life and provide so many opportunities for me. I was a freshman in high school, and I watched the voices of Lee on the sing-off, and I thought, my goodness, 
what, what I would give to be a part of an opportunity like that. Little did I know that four years later I would be standing on stage with them. So what I know is that God can dream a bigger dream for you than you could ever dream for yourself. And throughout our struggles and throughout our trials, I always try to remember that the secret is Christ in me, not me in a different set of circumstances. Obedience to him is always greater than a sacrifice. So thank you for the privilege to be here. I pray that God keeps blessing you and giving you the strength to run on and see what the end will be. God bless you. Amen. We bring you greetings from Lee University, your school in Cleveland, Tennessee. Dennis, Pastor Dennis, is on our board of directors at Lee. And during all this period of growth, it's just amazing. Come visit us. Come bring us some, some more students from Central. We'd love to, to visit you there. This bunch just represents uh, just a few of almost 5,000 we have on campus this year. And uh, God's given us such great increase and has blessed us. And we believe he's just sending the ones to us that we should have. And they're finding direction for their lives. You know, they're studying all kinds of things. Uh, here's Allison studying to be a missionary. And uh, she believes God's going God, to God's going to use her in that regard. They're all, not all music majors, but all kinds of majors, and some of them studying to be lawyers and doctors. But they want to do something great for the kingdom of God. Isn't that wonderful? And that's your school. This bunch, we run around together. We eat cheap burgers and run around together all the time. We had them, you know, we just travel all the time together. When we're not traveling, we're at home rehearsing. So they get to be like a family, you can imagine. It's hard to find this many burgundy suits, but I found a Goodwill. I found a Goodwill out in Phoenix, man. I bought everything they had. And we're going to wear them too, aren't we? Yes, sir. -y. But so wonderful to see. It's sort of a, it's sort of a, just a, a, a small church here, or sort of a, uh, it's like the body of Christ. And it's so beautiful to see when they hurt how they've learned that our strength and our source is Jesus Christ, and we go to Him. And uh, it's not what happens to us; it's how we handle it through Jesus' name. And we saw this so beautifully played out last year when JJ, JJ's from Atlanta, Georgia. And he's living proof that we do have a program for junior high students as well. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. This big. He actually just had a birthday. He's the oldest one up there. Imagine that, huh? But last year, a terrible thing came to J.J. and his family. His sister, one year older than he, uh, was diagnosed with brain cancer. And, of course, we prayed that God would heal her. And uh, finally, she received the ultimate healing. She went on to be with Jesus. But nevertheless, the pain was so great, and I watched as his family at school just surrounded him and kept him uh, boosted with prayer. And we watched the power of the Holy Spirit as he worked through these kids praying and for his family and all and how God comforted, him, comforted them. It was a beautiful thing. One of the things that came out of that incident was the memorial service, and we, we heard J.J. sing this song that he sang at his sister's memorial service. What a beautiful thing. I, I couldn't believe he could hold it together enough to sing at her service, but he did, and it was so beautiful and so moving. I said, can we sing that song with you? And I've asked him to share it with you today. It's a beautiful song about heaven. I will rise. There's a peace I've come to know, though my heart and flesh may fail, there's an
there's a day that's drawing near. Oh, when this darkness breaks to light and the shadows disappear, and my faith shall be my eyes, Jesus has Save our sons and daughters. 